Hello, this is Captain Vaughn and welcome to another video. Today's topic is the Consolidator class core assault ship, or more simply known as the Consolidator. The Consolidator was a devastating and effective tool utilized in long campaigns against the Galactic Alliance. However, when the campaign against the Light was ended and the Alliance had fallen, many of these battle cruisers were left behind with limited support to uphold treaties between the Sith and First Order. Though, later, many of the cruisers were freed from Corellion with aid from the New Republic where the freed ships eventually found their way into the hands of small governments. In addition, packed behind layers of reinforced hull were dozens of hangars, garages, and storerooms which were used by the Sith to house weapons of mass destruction. And the ventral hangar bay sat between a battle cruiser's two massive bridges and ran nearly the entire length of the ship. Anyway now to the stats, the Consolidator was 2,000 meters long, 1,145 meters wide, and 615 meters tall, and it was capable of landing on the surface of a planet. In addition the vessel could go at speeds of up to 765 km per hour, and it was equipped with a Class 10 hyperdrive. The Consolidator was equipped with rather heavy armament, for a ship of its size, as it was equipped with hundreds of light turbo laser turrets, hundreds of ion cannons and point defense laser cannons, numerous quad laser cannons, several anti-missile octets, and four heavy tractor beam projectors. The Consolidator could be operated by a minimum crew of 1,385, though it required a much larger crew of 2,509 in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry 18 fighter squadrons, 40 transports, and over 200 land vehicles. The Consolidator was manufactured by the Sith Imperial Corps of Engineers, and it was not available for sale. Now to my personal opinion, overall I believe that this vessel was really good, mostly for its incredible use of space. I mean pretty much anywhere where there wasn't important onboard equipment, there was a hangar. Which was an extremely large advantage in battle. I mean it could carry 18 squadrons of starfighters, plus hundreds of additional vehicles and transports. On top of all that its armament wasn't anything to scoff at either, as it had more than enough armament to take on capital ships twice its size. There was a pretty big downside to this vessel though, and that was its speed and hyperdrive rating, as they were definitely subpar. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.